Hey, this is Digital Byte Computing. We've got a new iPhone 7. We're just taking it out of the box and we're gonna transfer everything from this iPhone 5 to the iPhone 7. So you need to have your USB cable plugged into your computer and we're gonna run the other end into the iPhone 5 and that will show up within iTunes. So open up your iTunes and let's go from there. So from within iTunes, you'll see your iPhone 5 has been detected. And there's a couple of things you want to do. Firstly, we're going to sync it, and then we're going to also back it up. Essentially, just to double check that everything has definitely been copied and backed up to your Mac or your PC uh, before you can transfer it over to the new iPhone 7. So go ahead and click on sync, all right, and let that run through. It may take a bit of time to run through, but uh, it's definitely worth it because you want to make sure that everything is transferred over, okay? And then likewise, once that's finished, go and do a backup of the iPhone as well, just to double check that everything's there. That is gonna back up everything, all of your games, your apps, your, your SMSs, everything. Once that's done, we now go ahead and open up our iPhone 7. So your iPhone 5 is now backed up, which is fantastic. You get your brand new iPhone 7, put in the SIM card, and put it into your iPhone 7, all right? This is an important step. Just make sure that you've got that SIM card in your new iPhone. And we'll plug it in and turn it on. So we'll go through the basic installation. Just follow the steps, accept the language that you want to use, and follow the prompts to go ahead and uh, you know connect to a Wi-Fi. If you have Wi-Fi, set your location services, those sort of things. Set up your Touch ID if you want to. You can do that now, or you can just do it later on. And then put in a code finally, and set up some other information. Now in here, we're gonna tick on Restore from an iTunes Backup, okay? So now that is connected to iTunes. So within iTunes, you'll see now your iPhone has been detected. You can install newer software if it does find some, but you wanna make sure it says Restore from this backup, and you select the backup that has just been done from your iPhone 5. Make sure that your dates and time match up, and then you click on continue. You've got your license agreement, which you can just look through. Then you accept the license and continue. And that is now restoring your iPhone from backup. So that may take a little bit of time. Well, it probably will take a bit of time. You'll see that your iPhone has now been restored. It's gonna restart uh, maybe a couple of times and then it'll appear within iTunes once that is done. So your iPhone will now show up in iTunes, hopefully, and it's gonna to continue to download all of that content. So all of your apps, all of your music and photos. So this can take several, uh, it could even take up to an hour, even several hours perhaps, depending on how much content you have on your old iPhone, moving it over to the new iPhone 7. So just leave it until you see no more activity on your iPhone. And that is the basic steps on how to transfer everything from your iPhone, old iPhone, to your new iPhone 7. So if you found this video helpful, Please like it and subscribe to Digital Byte Computing for a whole bunch of more videos.